Good morning, Handsteaders. T Ham 141 here. I've got a sad tale to tell this morning. I was drinking my coffee, and all of a sudden the chickens just started going crazy. I mean, they were going <laughs> off. And so, jumped up, threw my boots on, and ran out, opened the door, and there was a fisher with his teeth around the neck of one of my buffs. Um, our last Buff Orpington. She's moved. That's weird. She was just inside the door. I had to leave to take Wendy to chemo. Oh my goodness, she's still alive. Oh, oh baby. Oh baby. <laughs> oh my word. I... Oh my word. She's still alive, guys. Okay. Okay, we're going to take her in and take care of her. Okay, it's okay, baby. We're going to get you. I'm going to go in and set you up a thing where you got food and water. Oh, my goodness gracious. Where'd he get you? Oh, 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 easy, easy, girl, easy, easy. Her head's all messed up there. I don't know. She can still see out of that eye. Okay. I'm going to go get you set up. We might be able to keep you alive, baby. We might be able to keep you alive. All right. I'll be right back. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to set up. We bought another clear bin for... Uh, chicks we're gonna get uh, meat chicks what I'll do is I'll set that up and we will go see I don't know the way she's shaking her head I might be able to save her I don't know Lord Lord Jesus please let me save this chick I I didn't know she was still alive otherwise I wouldn't have left her for as long as I did because I took Wendy to chemo, which is an hour there, hour back. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have left her if I would have known that she was still hurting. All right. We'll keep you posted. All right, y'all. I got everything set up inside. I'm going to go get her. And, oh try to get her inside so I'm not gonna film it because I need both hands I don't want to hurt her as I move her and I know she's probably got injury to her neck uh, so okay oh no I'm gonna for now we'll set you here there you go all right guys I got her in the house She's got food and water. I don't know. She doesn't have to go anywhere for it. We just got to keep the cats leaving her alone. I put a screen over it instead of the lid because, guys, it's just way too hot in here for her. She's been outside all winter. Yes, yeah, so you're going to make it. You're going to be good. I see you. I see you, sweetie. We're going to get you some medicine. Boy, maybe get some antibiotics. Lord Jesus, don't let her be in any pain. In Jesus' name, I'm asking, let her heal. If it be your will, Lord, I know it's just a simple chicken, but Lord, I know you care about all of our woes and worries and animals 
your eye is on the sparrow. Yes, buff. This is our last buff, and apparently God wants us to keep it. Okay. In no wise did I expect to find a live chicken. But we did. Praise God. Uh, we'll keep you posted. I'm buff. Please be praying. It's just a simple chicken, guys. Just a simple chicken. But his eye is on the sparrow. And uh, he arrays the lilies of the field and feeds the birds. He cares. That's why I do too. All right, y'all. T Ham 141 saying, keep your head up. There's always, always a possibility. This chicken should have been dead. All right. Y'all take it easy. Have a great night. God bless.